So you want to turn off the new Teams chats and channels. I'll show you how to do that. We'll go into the panel, uh, navigation panel, and at the very top, we'll go to the three dots, click into customize view. And now you've got the option to change back from combined into separate, where you can start to see Teams and chats separately again. You don't have to give any feedback here. You can just click cancel, and you'll notice that now chats and Teams are separate just the way that you liked it. Right, but before you do that, I wanna go over and show you a couple of things to compare the two experiences because my first experience, like you perhaps, was, oh my goodness, there's so much in that panel, it's too much to see it all together. So, let's first of all look at our existing, our classic experience, if I can call it that. Maybe your preferred experience. I've got a couple of demos going here, so we'll focus on Matt first. Uh, so it's easy to go through and check out that conversation with Matt. Here's that chat that's separate with Matt. Click, read, respond. I can see that it's unread as well. And uh, easy enough to do that, that um, you know, I, can, I can glance at that. Um, but you know, as I'm clicking back over now into, okay, well I've caught up with my chats, now I'll, I'll click into Teams, and then, now where am I looking? I think it was, well, I've got this new unread option, which I could use, so let's try that out. And then now we're focused in on things where I have been, uh, well, messages that have been um, uh, mentioned to me and then have posted, so let's have a look at, I think it was new employee onboarding. Yes, chat separately, okay, so that follows my demo. Um, so we've got a post there, easy enough to catch up with, uh, and the nice thing about this new unread filter, whatever uh, separate or combined experience you choose, it's there uh, and available to use. Um, the other one that I think I was gonna show here too, and that's um, where I mentioned, uh, and that is that I can go through and see uh, the different experiences here. So here's one where it's posted in a channel that is hidden for me. You notice that it's, um, let's see, new office, ex new office project, that top one there from Matt. It's not showing in my list. It is unread, um, but I can go through and see it there and uh, work my way through that message. Very nice. So a lot of clicking around, and to be honest, um, Sure, it's, it might be helpful to click into chats, focus on that, click into Teams, focus on that. But the benefit of this new view is combine, combining the conversations, the communication into one place so I can catch up. So let's see how we can switch back and take a look at the other experience together. Uh, so back at the top again, three dots into customize view, switch back over to combined. Okay, so now it's combined again. And certainly one thing that I have seen or noticed as part of this is the, the comment that a, a chat is not really a conversation in a team. It, it, it sort of doesn't really mean the same. But if you think of chats as just being conversations, maybe this uh, works for you. So we have this combined view now. And the first thing I want to show you is that you can still have the best of both worlds. So if you liked being able to separate and focus in on the things that were channel related and the things that were chat related, watch this. Let's focus on chats to begin with. We use the filters at the top. Filters are your friend. Filters help you focus. So we'll chat. All right, we focused in on chats now. Here's that chat with Laura. Very easy to click in and see. Um, perfect, great. All right, and you know I can see all my chats. So those are the ones that are in focus because Laura's a pinned person up there. But I can scroll on down here and I can see all my chats. And I'm even making the, the use of those, those sections as well. So there's a couple of sections for a project and a client that I'm working with. All right, well, that's fine. But, but what if I want to click into uh, see channels? Well, that's easy enough. Click channels. Now I'm focused in on the Teams experience, Teams and channels. And likewise, I can quickly, quickly look through, I can see where I've been mentioned, um, I can see what is read and unread, but I also get that benefit of clicking um, unread and seeing things that I might want to focus on. So here was a post here from, I believe it was Laura, yep, chats and channels demo, and good, we're done with that. Uh, and I could go into general, of course, and also see some, some posts there. Uh, but back out to here, if we unclick both of those, here's the thing. Like we've got the best of both worlds, I can separate the two, I can still focus using filters. But what I really like is that I've got that single 
truly single pane of glass that I can just use those filters to say unread. What hasn't been read yet? Or, you know, maybe I want to go into the at mentions view. So I'll scroll to the top there and say, where have I been mentioned? And now I'm seeing where I've been mentioned across chats and channels. So before you make that switch, just take a deep breath. You can still have the best of both worlds as I've showed you. Filters are your friend, filters help you focus. You can focus in on chats, you can focus in on channels. Uh, but if you do want to switch back, by all means. It takes a little while to get used to, but I'm actually enjoying it now, now that filters are really quite a powerful way to manage my communication. So uh, that was just a quick mention. I noticed that there was a lot of reactions and thoughts from people in the community about this new experience. Um, I'm going to be launching and showing some resources that will help you to guide people through that experience if you want to make that available to people as an option, because it is opt-in, and, and guide them through along to find their best way of working. So that's Daryl as a service from Modern Work Mentor. We'll see you again in the next Modern Work Workout. Bye for now.